Hello, welcome back for some more Thea the Awakening. It's been a few weeks since I last played Thea. Uh, I got distracted by a few other things, both on the channel and in real life, so I haven't had a chance to get back to it. So let's jump right back in and uh, see if we can get anything accomplished. We're starting to have some problems. Um, yeah, that last episode was pretty rough with the number of times we had to retreat. The random factor in where I put my characters was just really messing me over. And, as I've said a uh, number of times throughout the series, I'm pretty sure I'm fairly far behind the power curve, and it's really starting to show now. Stuff's popping out all over the place that is just pretty much able to wipe my groups, and if that happens, I'm pretty much done. So, um, I have to decide, do I try to get into the graveyard? That's what I was kind of planning originally. I was retreating from this area, Came around, but spotted this group I had to come deal with before they got to my town. So now I'm going to head back over towards the graveyard. And we'll see what we can get done. Let's stop here. Won't be able to get there this round. Uh, don't need to do any healing. So do I go ahead and step forward again? Save the turn or save the point for next round? I think I do. All right, so right up against the graveyard. And I forget what else we had going on. We've got one expedition up here doing its thing. You guys are out gathering the ancient wood. Yeah, all right, so you keep doing that for well, a little bit longer, probably another turn or two, then I'll bring them back. We'll have a pretty good supply at that point. All right, and our home city is doing what? What are you guys doing? Um, there we go, crafting some leshies here. Alright, that's fine, keep raising my level. So we're at 41 out of 92 on our research, and 23 out of 23 in experience, so we should be gaining a level in between turns here for our various characters. Alright, we've got one research point saved up. Well, I think we're all set. Let's go ahead and see what happens. See <laughs> of course we get an encounter. The wind picks up and thunder strikes. Strangely, this seems to happen only around you, as you see clear skies up ahead. Hmm, two options unavailable. Try to go around or run away. Well, let's try to go around. You try to step aside carefully, <laughs> but you soon realize this is not a natural storm. Oh, you see several man. winged creatures charging you from the skies. Well, four skull fight. Everything's four skull nowadays. Here we go. No idea how bad these things are going to be. Four Vileys and four giant crows. Definitely can't auto resolve it. What is with Hemislav? Every, every, every time they're putting Hemislav over here. <laughs> it's been like six times in a row I've had his stupid butt over on that side. Erg. <laughs> I want a nice fight where I've got. Oh man, they put Hemislav and Mashevko over here. Right, once again, I'm getting screwed. Big warrior, there's Alina. Yeah, the two of the guys that I absolutely always want over in my tactics side or over on my combat side yet again. Um, well, I don't know how tough these guys are, so let's go with the standard start. We'll go with Dobia Slava. And I'll probably end up retreating, I'm pretty sure. I've, ah, great, here we go again. I have no way of getting anybody moved to the front. None of my first actions are anywhere near high enough. So, no matter what, she's going to take another 8 point hit from a Billy there. Um, let's see. Do I protect her or do I get Urban out? Urban would kill that giant crow and then be ahead of something else. Um, or I could put Mashevko out right now. He wouldn't get the free attack, and he'd be behind the crow. Ugh. Or do I power up Dobioslava? She can already kill both of the things near her in one swing, and it only allows two things to be killed. Um, this will be my only opportunity to really buff her up. Our tactic. 
use now. Probably not useful. Possibly get a counter offense off. I think right now it's more. <sighs> no, I think she's going to be fine. I think it's down to either counter offense to hope I can pull out one of the villies. They could all be over here, given how many things are coming, but. Uh, um, no, I think I'm going to go with uh, get Urban out. Let's get rid of one of the crows. Get him out front. Oh, I get another person, do I? Ooh, that. Uh, I didn't realize I was going to get two cards. That actually changes things. Hmm. If I get Mashevko out now. I think I have to get Mashevko out right now. Or do I go with the counter offense option? Counter offense would be pretty important right now. I think I'm going to go counter offense instead. Just a crow. That's fine. Got rid of something at least. Alright, so the only other villies are going to be in the uh, other row, so that's fine. Um. Do I toss him a Slav out? As it stands right now, when things start up, she's going to get hit, but she'll only take four actual hit points of damage from that. When she swings, she's going to completely kill, completely kill those two. So those are already dead. That is also going to die. So everything that's out currently is going to die, and I'm only going to take the four points of damage, which is perfectly acceptable. So I think I'm going to get two cards again. I think I'm going to go with Mashevko and Yeah, I'm going to go with Mashevko. Let's get him out there. And let's also do... I think I just might do counter tactic. I think I've got the damage. So everything's out there is already dead. going to be three more cards come out that are going to be confused for the first round. So when the next round starts... I'm going to get three attacks again. They're all going to die again. So this should be... For a Far Skull, this seems fairly tame. Unless something odd happens. I think I've already got this one wrapped up. Uh, I'm not sending him a Slav out, so let's do... This counter tactic. He's got nothing else that's going to be useful. So we'll do a counter tactic there. Good, we got one of the Villies out. I get two again. Uh, whew. Too bad I don't have one more confused. I could actually confuse that front one and not take any damage, but it's not going to happen. Counter tactic again. Support ally. That's him. A Slav should be safe now. We'll go ahead and stick him out. And let's do another counter tactic. Make it real simple. And then I guess we'll confuse that crow. Not going to get an attack anyway. Where do I? Let's see. Crow's not going to get an action, so confusing it's useless. So let's just support him. A Slav. Give him a. Big ol' boost. Alright, so let's go. So there's our four damage. Can't do anything about it. Oh, 
Alright, well, that went a little better than I thought it would. You defeated the Vili. Hello. The storm dies down and the skies clear again. Alright, so a couple of training swords, some bird meat, a spike club. This looks entertaining. Book of Wisdom. Well, it is what it is, a book with lots of wisdom. <laughs> Alright. Silver chain. Shiny and wards some creatures of the night. And 15 moonstone. Sounds good. Alright, so that didn't go too bad. And uh, we got some level ups. So, Expedition 2, Strength, Strength, Gathering isn't too useful, and Intelligence. Oh, wait, that's my. That's Expedition 2, that's my Gathering group, so that I do like. The others I don't care all that much about. Next group is Expedition 1, my Combat Group. Goblin Beastmaster got two Animal Kinship. Trap, Sixth Sense, Perception, Strength. Uh, all right, a lot of intermediate kind of stuff that I don't often use. And the home group, crafting, yay, health and dex, okay, plus two at least. Still got our one point, and we know about those. All right, so building, gathering, nothing spotted in the area to worry about, so we're down to the graveyard. Uh, I'm kind of worried about this one. Uh, I don't think the damage that we took is going to be enough to want me to wait a turn, so let's just head on in. You discover the remains of an old graveyard. In the center, you see the burnt down ruins of what could have been a place of worship, likely belonging to immigrants from the Westerlands, as it is not the custom of your people to build such places. You search the graveyard, and among much rubble and forgotten gravestones, you discover a perfectly preserved crypt with some elvish writing upon it. The lid is secured with iron-clad hinges and silver chains. You can read some of the Elvish. A soul of a damned beloved rests here. Beware his love's damned power perverted by darkened blood. The rest of the writing is gone. Mm. Considering the silver chains, the grave, and the inscription, you suspect a Strieger of some kind may lay within. Different people call these creatures by different names. Strigoi, vampires, and the such. The Striger is not only bloodthirsty, it is known to devour your insides too. Worse yet, it is said that the creature's only link to its lost humanity is the love it once bore, and so it haunts its former loved ones and their bloodlines for eternity. You did not think the elven kin could become one, but who knows? You open the crypt and walk in knowing you'll face a fiend. You charge in before it can surprise you. From the shadows steps out a deformed creature, tall yet twisted in knots, its skin dried out and flaking, its veins exposed, empty yet strangely palpable, its eyes red shot with hunger and its mouth filled with rows of razor sharp teeth and long protruding fangs. All right, so we opened it and got some metal, so we got some iron and the iron and silver, and then we have to fight. Of course! No, not a whole horde of bats! <laughs> and of course, I'm going to have more problems with this fight than I did with the four skull fight just now. Alright, let's see if uh, Himoslav and my archer end up in my combat group again. <laughs> There's Himoslav, as always! I don't know about you, Himoslav. <laughs> you are really annoying me. <laughs> That's a lot of things he's going to get to put out there. And I don't have either of my main combat people again. God dang, game, come on. Look at this. All of my main combat guys are over here yet again. <laughs> so I got one guy on this side that I wanted. I don't know if the game's messing with me or what, but this tactics and combat random supposedly grouping for the last, I don't know, eight or ten turns has just been beating me up. Something fierce. I'm not sure what happens if you retreat from this kind of a fight either. Does it let you redo it, or do you... I'm not sure how it would work in this kind of fight, but this is really, really bad. This is a very bad setup. 
Ugh. I can first action one person, so I could get Alina out front. A 27 damage is just barely enough to kill that Striga right there. I can also stick Urban out, get the initial, or, uh, yes, yeah, stick, well, I got two Urbans. Stick Old Man Urban out. That would get half now and kill him before he would get to go. So that would deal with the first one. I'm going to get two people out. So I think I'm going to go with put Urban out, get ahead of the Striga. That guarantees the Striga dies before it's going to get an attack. Then put Alina out and hope they don't have something that's going to jump in front. Let's do it. So. I just got a bad feeling about this. Lots of bats. Maybe I'll get super lucky and the Master Striga is sitting over here, which I kind of suspect might be the case given that he's throwing bats out. But maybe he gets screwed by the random as well and most of the Strigas and the Striga Master are all sitting right over here in the tactics section. That would be pretty awesome. Unfortunately, she's going to waste 23 points of her damage <laughs> as things currently stand. Um... I guess I could throw him a Slav out right now. That would kill the bat. That way when she gets to swing, she'll kill a bat and then kill whatever comes up next. Just worried about him a Slav being on the receiving end of what else is coming out. Um, I'm going to first action. This is going to be my pretty much only opportunity to get Alina out front if I wanted to do that. I could put Himislav out and shield ally him, give him a boatload of uh, protection. Oh, got a pretty good confuse. Might hit the other, hit another Striga, but not going to get the Master for sure. This could be a really valuable counter tactic, though. There are higher level ones over there. Yeah, I've got no other counter tactic, so I've got to make a pretty big decision with this guy. That counter tactic is a really powerful option. I've got pretty good shield ally and support ally. Um, I think I am going to go put Himislav out, and that'll kill the bat. And then I'm going to counter tactic, get the high level counter tactic out. Then depending on what he does next turn, Himislav will be at the end of the row and I'll be able to either shield or support him for a pretty good amount if necessary. So let's do it. Let's kill a bat. I really want to improve her carry through damage. And then let's counter tactic and hope we get at least a Striga. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Oh well. I was really hoping to get one of the big guys with that. Alright, that I like a lot. I like to see lots of little bats popping out of there. We got a bit of an improvement, so now it's 8 out of her 27 going to get used. <laughs> Still losing a huge amount. Oh well. Um, I think I've just got to go with uh, go with Urban... Or, because as soon as I put Urban out, well, everything else looks like it's going to come out after him. So yeah, let's do it. Let's get Urban out. And, man, I want to hold these Confuses or other options until something else happens. 
Um... I think I'm going to go ahead and throw up a decent shield, so let's do you. Yeah. Alright, what else is coming? Looks like I did get lucky. There's the master. Alright, that's the guy I really need to hammer, so that's the one I'm kind of worried about, because now what's going to happen is He's going to kill that. She's going to kill those two. He is then going to kill that, and he'll hit that for a pretty good amount. I think we're still going to be okay. Um, let me think through this again. So when the round starts, that's going to be plenty enough damage to kill him. She's going to kill those two. He's going to kill that. He's going to hit that one for 24. He's not wounded. So it's going to be 34, 37. So I need to support him. That would be 48, which I think will kill it. Alright, so that's my hope. We're going to get that out. Try to get the master down in the first round, and the second round should be a total wipe. I think the second round will go without a problem. So we might be okay. We got saved by the computer's side getting screwed by the random draw for once. I think that last one's going to be a standard Striga as well. I think it was two Striga and the master, and then the whole boatload of bats. Oh look, bat gets to go first. <laughs> Urban's going to take a hit. Arg. Well, nothing I can do about that. Um, confusing that bat's not going to help. Counter tactic is only going to help if that's a bat, and I don't think it is. I think it's another Striga. So, I think I'm just going to make sh absolutely sure Urban's got a hard hit. So, we didn't come out of it unscathed. Unfortunately, Urban's going to take a couple of points. Striga? Yep, Striga. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so he went the other way. So actually this is going to be better for us. Oh crap, no, this means that I'm not going to get the heavy hit on this. Well, that's alright, we'll get plenty more hits on the Striga Master. That's the hit I was expecting to go on the Striga Master this round. <laughs> but we've got plenty more, I think. Oh, I didn't quite kill him. <laughs> so we're going to end up with another round. All right. But these are just bats, if I remember right. So let's go with... Uh... Hey, look, Himoslav, yet again. He's just welded into the combat side. What is with you, old man? How many times is the 50-50 going to go this way? I've lost track. If anybody wants to go back and look at the episodes, how many times has Himoslav ended up over here sequentially on a supposedly 50-50 split? It's getting kind of ridiculous. And yet again, all of my main combat guys, this time it's the entire combat group is over here. Not a single one of my primary warriors is in the combat group. <laughs> uh, come on, game. What the hell? I think I'm done. Fight phase, I think, is over. <laughs> you have defeated the streak. All right, so we came out of it. Then you discover a full set of armor, shield, and weapon that must have belonged to the damned. But alas, much of it is rotten away. Still, the silver chains alone are worth much. Okay, so we got... What did we get? Chainmail armor, a uh, small amber charm, some foods, a gathering tool... 
Big training sword. A bunch more. Mi Ooh, mithril. Love the mithril. So we got some really good metals this time. And then some rubies. Okay, and I have got to get out of here. This stuff is too nasty for me to deal with. I do not know what I'm going to do with this section. But I think we definitely need to bail. We're going to head back home, see what we can craft up and or do to uh, up our combat value in our group here. Um, it seems like my biggest problem is just the split between the fighting and the tactics group. That screws me over more times than anything else. I, I'd be willing to try some of these fights over here if it just didn't keep doing that to me. But I think it's good for us. We've had quite a few fights. Let's head back, re-gear up, sort some things out, and then uh, we'll make some decisions from there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I think when these guys come by, I'll go ahead and decamp Expedition 2, and they'll both come back to Astoya. So, ah, giants! <laughs> That's my worry. I'm worried about giants actually coming to town, because I don't think I can deal with them. Can I get home ahead of the Giants? Alright, we're not going to explore that location. You guys can now decamp. Move back to town. And we'll sort their stuff out once these guys get back. I do want to make sure we finished one of the spears. We have more queued up. We do. Taking three turns per. All right. 60 out of 92 research. So it's going to come down to, are those giants coming to town? Because if they are, I am in big trouble. Oh, the treasure chest popped up right behind the giants. <laughs> of course it did. 75 out of 92. Don't care. How do we finish that one in one turn? I thought it was three turns to finish that. That's a little odd, but all right. Into town we go. All right. I think I'm actually going to bring the episode to a close right there. Next episode, we will sort out all our gear. We brought back a whole bunch of loot from the various fights we've had, plus the uh, gathering group. So we're going to have a village-centric episode next time probably as I get things sorted out and figure out what we can do to try to improve our situation. Uh, I still, still have not had any new uh, people show up. I mean, not that many turns have gone by since I got that last building up, but uh, I think that's another part that I'm having a real big problem with is just the total lack of new characters joining the uh, the village. I haven't had any children grow up. I haven't had any new uh, wandering people come in to join the village, nothing. So I've been stuck at this same group of people for quite a while. I would love to get a second combat group out and about, uh, or do a few other things with some more folks, but we just haven't had any luck that way either. So we'll see what we can do, but that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. And uh, you can also feel free to visit me on my Discord channel if you'd like to chat about this or any of the other games we cover. And I hope to uh, see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.